Hey guys, it's Ken from Killer RC. I'm going to show you real quick how to charge this 6 volt nickel metal hydride hump pack with this IMAX B6 AC Pro charger. Uh, we sell this charger for $59 in the Killer RC store. It works great. It will cover most guys' needs. Um, as far as charging their battery, it'll do uh, NICAD, nickel metal hydride, uh, LIFE, LiPo, uh, lead acid. Um, It'll run on 110 to 240 uh, VAC, so it'll work for the uh, European guys. Um, I've got it plugged into 110 AC right now. You can also use this included uh, cord here and plug it into, um, uh, clip these onto a 12 volt battery. And you can power with 12 volts, like from your automobile car battery, like if you're out at a track or a field. And you don't have a wall outlet power nearby you can use a car battery or a 12 volt power supply but I've just got it plugged into the wall right here it's nice and easy I've got our uh, charge leads plugged in I've got a, um, a JR plug here I could also use a Tamiya with this particular battery but I'm gonna go ahead and plug the um, the Futaba JR power plug in there now my battery's plugged in I'm going to go on, on the charger and change a few features. This is a brand new charger. Um, I just got it out of the box and I haven't changed any settings on it. So I'm going to go in here and change a couple things. Um, here's some LiPo settings. I'll cover that uh, the LiPo stuff in a different video. But I'm going to go to the uh, safety timer. It's Right now it's set at 120 minutes. So in two hours this charger will automatically shut off uh, no matter where it's at in the charging process so if you'd like to charge super slow like sometimes I do then um, you want to raise this timer up because it's going to take longer to charge when you charge at lower amperages so I'm going to bump this up to like 300 minutes it'll go up to 720 minutes or you can turn the timer totally off I'm going to leave it at 300 minutes. And now I'm going to go to nickel metal hydride battery. Start. Now I can choose from several different things here. I can, I can uh, charge it. I can discharge it. I can cycle it where it automatically discharges it and then charges it. Um, by itself but uh, this battery pack is pretty dead it came out of a, a Baja that's been sitting around a while so this battery needs to be charged so I'm gonna go here to uh, nickel metal hydride charge and the app the amperage from the factory is set at 0.1 amps and that's pretty low that would take us forever to charge this battery so I'm gonna bump that up now if I had if I had like three hours to kill and I wasn't going to run the car for a while, I could charge this at one amp and it would take three hours because it would put 1,000 milliamps into the battery each hour. If I've got a little less time, I could do one and a half or even two amps. Um, there's no real magic number. Uh, you know, most guys just don't go over... Um, the capacity of the battery. This is a 3000 milliamp battery pack so the most I would ever charge this battery pack at would be 3 amps. If this was a 5000 milliamp battery pack I could bump this up to 5 amps. If it was a 4000 I could charge it at 4 amps or anywhere below that. If I wanted to I could charge it at 2.4, 2.3, 2.2. It doesn't really matter. It's just the, the higher this number is the faster it's going to charge but the faster it charges the warmer the cells get because you're pumping those uh, those milliamps into the battery pack and you're causing a chemical reaction that makes the battery pack get warmer and heat is not good for batteries so um, if you have plenty of time and you want to squeeze as much power and and life out of the battery pack as you can I would suggest you charge kind of slow like uh, let's go with one and a half amps 
which if this battery was totally dead that means it should take two hours 120 minutes to charge this battery pack so let's just go with that if I was pressed for time I could bump that back up to 3 amps and then it would be done in an hour or less I'm going to just hold down the start button it already I don't have to set the voltage or anything it already knows the charger already knows how many cells are in here and how many volts to charge it at you can see it's charging at 7 volts and this might jump up to seven and a half and even get close to eight volts this number is going to jump around and that's totally fine with a six volt battery pack you have to put in a little bit higher voltage than what the battery pack actually holds so if you see this jump up to around eight don't worry that's totally normal so here on the bottom right is how many milliamps the charger has put into the battery right now it's you know put 12 13 that number is just going to keep jumping higher and hopefully this number gets all the way up to you know 2800 2900 or so um, usually you you won't get all the way up to 3000 because the battery pack is usually not totally dead to begin with so you know don't worry if you don't get exactly 3000 into the battery pack you know as long as you get pretty close that's fine now let's say this stopped at like 200 milliamps and I know this battery pack is dead and I know that it should be taking way more milliamps than that there's either a problem with the battery pack and it's not taking a good charge or I need to go in here to my settings on the charger go to the nickel metal hydride sensitivity delta peak setting and I could bump this up um, I've already got it set at, at 10 millivolts um, a lot of times it'll come from the factory at 5 millivolts so if the battery was not taking a full charge I would want to bump this up to 10 12 millivolts something like that I usually don't go over 15 millivolts let's leave it at 12 And then now we're going to go back to charging. And just let the charger do its thing. And uh, when the battery pack is full, the charger will, will uh, make a beeping sound. On the screen it will say full. And you're done. And you just put it in your car and go.